Hey guys, what's up? I was in Oxford the other week, and all the time I was there, I was thinking, man, this would be a great place to live. The streets are clean, there's plenty of good shops, you've got fantastic restaurants, and of course the history is great as well. The only bad thing I can really say about Oxford is that it hates cars. Oxford hates cars. I mean, parking in the centre of Oxford is like, it can be up to about £7 an hour, which is ridiculous. One thing I will say is though, they have a fantastic public transport system. So the coaches, the trains and the buses are absolutely fantastic. So that more than makes up for the lack of car friendliness in the centre. So let's have a look at the main points of interest. Now Christchurch is an absolute must see. I spent a good hour looking around there and I, I was only just looking around. I wasn't really taking time, taking everything in, you know, having a good look. Um, so you could easily spend well over a day there. Um, you can go up to the Downing Hall, uh, which is like something out of Harry Potter, quite literally. And they also have loads of original paintings. I think there, are, there must be original paintings because everything is fantastic over there. Of really famous people such as Henry VIII is there and Queen Elizabeth makes an entry as well. You can also go around the cathedral, which is one of the oldest parts of Christchurch itself, which is where it gets its name from because it's Christchurch Cathedral and College. There's loads of helpful people there, so if you're into that kind of stuff and you want a bit more information about maybe like you like the look of a stained glass window and you want to find out where it comes from or something, all the people that work inside the cathedral know an awful lot about everything inside it, so you only need to ask really. Let's see. The city centre is an absolutely fantastic architectural wonder. Everything around, all the old buildings, even the modern shops, they look really old on the outside, but you go in and it's really modern inside. It's really quite strange and surreal if you're not used to it. So that's good. Um, so if you've got time to kill or money to spend, it's well worth a look around. Also, um, there's a few museums dotted around as well. Now, I was only there for a short amount of time, so I didn't really have time to go into all the museums and have a good look around. I really wish that I could spend more time down there. And I know I will definitely be going to Oxford sometime soon. So if I manage to get some footage or if I manage to get even into some of the museums I will upload some videos of them but I thought I might as well just mention it at the back end of this video just to let you know. So let's sum up. Um, Oxford is an absolutely fantastic place to see and if you are there for a city break or just a day out with lots of culture thrown in for all good measure I would thoroughly recommend it and with that I'm going to give it 7 out of 10 on my down to earth travel review chart. Thanks for watching.